Hi everyone, my name is Allie Jones and I'm the upper elementary lead here at FCC. I am so excited to be sharing with you today all about how to read the Bible. With my upper elementary students, I do my very best to take away some of the fear of reading the Bible. When you first take a look at it, it can be super intimidating and sometimes we're afraid to ask questions of it and to explore it. So let's get started off with some facts. So what is the Bible? It's actually more of a library than a book. It contains 66 individual books written by about 40 different authors over the span of 1,500 years. Inside, there's poetry and history, and that's all woven together to lead to Jesus. Super cool, right? A big goal in reading the Bible is to have the knowledge of God's Word for us to know how to apply it to our lives. Inside, we can read about God's faithfulness, love, and His wants for our lives. When it comes to teaching your kids the Bible, keep in mind it wasn't really written with kids in mind. There will be a lot of things that are confusing to kids, and let's be honest, us too. And that's okay. There's so many resources to help assist in understanding the Bible. Websites like gotquestions.org or even YouTube videos like The Bible Project help give a basis for understanding what is going on in the Bible. I recommend doing some light reading or research yourself before reading with your child or having them read it before them. Then you can prepare to share your thoughts and lead a discussion about it. Which leads me to my next thought. Have your child read the stories you are passionate about and have you have read. The stories you have personally studied and enjoyed listening to. Sharing why you like the story, your thoughts when hearing it, will help spark joy and passion inside your child. It's impactful to see how and why that story means a lot to you. It also models that you yourself are reading the Bible. This reinforces that it's an important practice. When having your child read the Bible, or if you read the Bible to your child, pick one that is right for your child. Is your child young? Then use picture books like the Beginner's Bible or My First Bible Stories. Both provide pictures along with the stories. Once your child starts getting older, pick Bibles for their age group. I love the Adventure Bible because it's a study Bible that is perfect for elementary and middle school students. They help give context to the Bible story so it's easier to comprehend. Translations like New Living Translation, New, Inter New International Reader's Version, or even The Message are easy to read and help students with comprehension. Now, how do we make this fun? This is where we want to personalize it to your child. Does your child love to work independently? Try using a da daily devotional like our daily bread uh, for kids, where there is context and extra reading that they can do independently. Does your child like to do crafts and activities? Not only is Pinterest full of activities that you can find based off Bible stories, uh, but you can also check out the uh, very best hands-on, kind of dangerous family devotion that offers fun projects to do. Is your child theatrical? Act out Bible stories, include props and lines, and even record it. Deep understanding can come from the act of recreating characters and finding out what they would wear. Does your child really love worship music? Have your child think of a worship song that reminds them of the story they read, or vice versa, find a worship song that your child likes and find Bible stories or verses that correlate with it. The fun part with that one is whenever they hear the song from then on, they will remember the Bible story. What I have found is stick to your child's passions. I look up something, I'm curious about it, and then while there, I may find something new I'm curious about. I then start following that trail on, and on my way, I discover a new trail. Before I know it, I'm somewhere I never expected to be, but I learned a bunch on the way there. It's kind of like an information rabbit hole. As long as there's interest and passion, you can call it a win.